There's no question that over the last five years, we've been able to do some amazing work. I'm never gonna get tired of images like these. When our supporters step up and invest in lives of people in Rwanda, in Uganda, in Kenya and Sierra Leone, we all get to watch as hope is restored. But you know, over the last few years, we've realized something even more important about our work. And that's that we don't change the world. Not us, not alone. I mean, we can't take credit for that. What we've discovered is that when this obstacle, the lack of access to water, when this obstacle is taken away, when it's removed, women, men, children, they're the ones that start to change things. Water allows mothers to raise healthy children. It allows students, especially girls, to stay in school. Water feeds whole villages, but it's the people, not hardware, who truly change the world. Every time we unlock this potential by providing something as simple as clean water, a ripple goes out. Let me share just one story of how I've seen this happen. This is Bridget. Bridget lost both of her parents to HIV AIDS. She's an orphan. She grew up in a part of Kenya with no access to clean water. Her community had long struggled with a lack of food. They were plagued by unpredictable rains and drought. I mean, if you add it all together, she shouldn't have even been standing there that day. As we got to talking, we noticed that Bridget was holding a green binder. Kind of an odd thing for a teenager out here in the bush to have, and so we asked her about it. As it turns out, this green binder was an accounting log. Because water was in her village now, and had begun to change things, she saw an opportunity. Bridget saw a chance to grow tree seedlings with some of the other orphans in her village. They would take these tree seedlings into the market and they sold them at a profit. You see, bringing clean and safe water to places like Kenya is about clearing obstacles. It's about allowing Bridget to be Bridget. It's about allowing Kenyans to be Kenyans. It's about removing the things that keep intelligent, well-spoken, organized, motivated, and proud women like Bridget from just being themselves. As we were leaving, we asked Bridget one last question. What are you gonna do with all that profit? Her answer humbled and inspired us. She explained without skipping a beat that she was gonna invest it in the other orphans. Of course, that's hope. That's how incredibly important access to clean and safe water is. It seems simple. It seems like it's just about a well or a sand dam or a water filter, but it isn't. It unlocks this kind of potential. It exposes this kind of hope.